Reuben woke up knowing that today he could die a gruesome and bloody death. And if he didn't die, the gruesome and bloody part was still a guarantee. But what was truly strange about the horror he was about to endure was that it was all voluntary. This is the story of a bizarre Christ-related ritual that the Catholic Church adamantly opposes, but it still continues to this day. Hey guys, welcome to Bent Planet, where I tell you true stories of humans in abnormal predicaments, tales that will twist your your mind and this story is no exception if you enjoy hearing bizarre true stories please like this video and subscribe for more incredible content and press the notification bell so you get updated when a fresh story is released all right get comfortable Ready to hear a story? On April 7th, 2023, after getting out of bed and going through his morning rituals, a carpenter in the Philippines named Ruben Anaje left the house and made his way into the center of town. The large village of San Pedro Cutud was already bustling with thousands of people. Makeshift stalls lined the streets with vendors selling bottled water and religious souvenirs to onlookers. After all, it was Good Friday. This was an area heavily devoted to Catholicism, and this was a famous event that attracted huge crowds. Reuben met with a familiar group of people who handed him some simple white clothing. He stripped off his own clothes and wrapped the garments around his body. He then lowered his head, and one group member held a small circular garland, a wreath made of twisted vine, thick and bursting with sharp thorns. They placed the makeshift crown of thorns against Reuben's head before pushing it down, forcing the vine to stretch around his skull. As the thorns tore through his scalp, blood trickling down around his ears, over his face and neck. He was then pushed to where others nearby held a huge wooden cross. And after having the heavy object placed awkwardly across his shoulder, he began walking with it, slowly stumbling along the town's main street as people watched, some cheering, some mocking him. Behind him were two other men, also bent under the weight of their own wooden crosses. And beyond them, more men walked with their upper torsos exposed, swinging pieces of wood and whips and sharpened lengths of bamboo to beat themselves or have others beat them, blood pouring down their backs as the huge crowd around them screamed with a mix of applause and fascination. It was a scorching hot day and Reuben needed to walk more than a kilometre, over half a mile under brutal conditions, as men dressed in centurion uniforms taunted him and took turns pushing him to the ground. Eventually, with scorched skin and a bruised back, he and the other men reached their destination. And as the crosses fell to the ground, they were ordered to lay on them. The pack of centurions then pinned Reuben down, pushing his arms out to fit the shape of the cross, before taking huge metal nails and holding the sharp ends over the palms of his hands. Reuben closed his eyes. Despite the harsh sun burning into his body, he felt a cold wave rush through his nervous system, knowing that this was the moment he feared the most. The most pain, the highest chance of serious long-term injury, and a risk of death if things weren't done with precision. He knew the next few hours of his life would be hell, and he knew it because this was the 34th time he had put himself through this misery. Back in 1985, Reuben had been working three stories high when he slipped and plunged to the ground below. Believing it to be a miracle that he survived the fall, he decided to show God his appreciation by taking part in a local ritual that involves reenacting the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Actors play out the biblical story of Jesus being judged and persecuted, but when it comes to the crucifixions, what you see is real. The victims, like Reuben, are volunteers who believe it will bring atonement for their sins and answers to their prayers to actually be crucified like Jesus in the Bible. 
Around 20,000 people flock to this ritual on Easter Friday each year. At 62 years of age, Reuben has been playing the role of Jesus Christ every year for more than half of his life. He wanted to retire a couple of times, but always found a reason to commit to another round of torture. In 2023, he hoped that his persecution would convince God to ease the suffering of COVID-19 worldwide and to bring an end to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Despite his aging body and the knowledge that one wrong move could see him bleed to death, Reuben watched as a hammer was raised into the air before crashing down onto the back of the nail, driving it through the flesh, slicing between bones and tendons to grip into the wood on the other side. Bang! 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 Both his hands were nailed into position. Then it was time for his feet. One pushed over the other. Huge nails were again placed into position before a hammer drove them through the flesh. The intense jolt of pain searing up through his legs, causing him to scream in agony as the cross he was nailed to was raised. The crowd watching in awe and respect as Reuben played out the part of their savior. In other parts of the country, the same ritual was being carried out with women also playing the part of Christ. And back in 2009, legendary Australian journalist John Safran took his documentary skills to the next level by going through the full crucifixion himself, all in the name of entertainment. So after 10 minutes of being nailed to a wooden cross, Reuben and his fellow martyrs were pulled down to avoid actual death. Fortunately, the nails had been well aimed this year, so they would not die from their injuries. And despite their bodies being in horrible shape, they would eventually heal. Just in time to do it all again next year for the sake of a loving God. All right, guys, that's it for today's story. If you made it this far, please give the video a like, subscribe for more Twisted Tales, and hit the notification bell so you know when the next story is out. Stay safe out there, and more importantly, stay bent. Yeah.